Hey guys, good morning. It's Katrina. Welcome back to my channel. It is Wednesday. I am on day three of my restart of my keto. And as of, as of this morning, I am already down six pounds. So that tells you how much water that carbohydrates hold in your body. Because you know that's not fat weight, that's water weight that came off. But my goodness. Anyway, this morning I'm going to have the same thing, my little egg bites. For lunch, I'm going to probably have, I'll show you what I'm going to have for lunch. I'm going to show you in a little while. But anyway, I started doing a new thing at work as well. Every hour, I do 10 squats. By the time I leave work, I have done 100 squats because I work a 10-hour day. So just keep that in mind. Exercise you can get in at any time that you can. All right, guys, I'll be back a little bit later to show you what my lunch is going to be. Hi, this is Katrina. Well, I am home now. But I have to tell you, I completely forgot. Well, not forgot. I did not have time to video my lunch today, show you what I was having for lunch. It was busy. Um, so I had to get some stuff taken care of and I didn't just, I couldn't video while I was trying to get all my work done. Anyway, I wanted to let you know what I had. I had an avocado. I had uh, about a fourth of a cucumber in slices with that homemade ranch dip that I made. I had some of that and then I had two, um, I guess... Just long, what do you call it? Sticks to like a dried deer sausage that I had gotten from the owner of the company I work for. He goes deer hunting and so he had, it was the dried deer sausage. So I had a couple of those and that's what I had for lunch. Now tonight I am making taco cups. So I'm going to show you, I got my meat over here cooking right now. I just shredded some cheese for it because I've got to, I've got to put that in the oven because that's going to be my, um, my cup is going to be made from cheese. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this done. I'm not gonna make you guys sit here and watch me do everything here. But uh, as you, uh, you heard from this morning though, six pounds, I lost six pounds. Granted, it is water weight, but I don't care. It just shows you that carbohydrates hold water. And that's why you get the inflammation and everything like that. Because that six pounds, I mean, in two days is just gone. So I'm absolutely thrilled about that. But let me get down and, and start getting some of this stuff done, um, and then I'll be back and show you how we're going to put everything together, okay? So in my meat here, I put a little bit of onion in there, and then I, my spices I have not put in yet. I am going to in just a second, but I want this meat to not be so pink. I have my oven preheating to 375, and as soon as that goes off, I'm going to put the cheese in. And what I did is, I, is about one and a half to two tablespoons each here. And then I'm gonna throw that in the oven and for, I'm gonna check it in about six minutes. I want all the, um, around the sides to be bubbly and getting uh, that brown color. And then I'll pull it back out. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get this meat cooked. And then the seasonings we're gonna put in here, we are gonna put some cumin, we're gonna put some chili powder and we are gonna put some paprika. That's what's going in this and that's it. That's all we're going to use. And a little bit, I'm going to put a little bit of salt and pepper as always. So let me wait for that oven to heat up and then uh, to go off so I can put that cheese in there and I'll be right back. Okay, on that, there is something that I heard and I wanted to try it. And it was to take one of these Topo Chico's mineral waters and you get the Mio black cherry. You're supposed to put that in here and it's supposed to taste like Dr. Pepper. So we're going to try it, and I'm going to be honest with you, if it really tastes like that or not. You heard my timer go off, let me, or my buzzer go off, let me put the cheese in. Set my timer for six minutes. Let me check this meat here. All right, it's doing good, but I'm going to strain it one more time. I've already done it once. I'm going to strain it one more time. Now is when I'm going to put my seasonings in. Because if you do it when all that grease and stuff is going to be in there, then when you strain that grease out, all your flavoring goes too. So remember that. All right, I'm going to put some teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to sprinkle some chili powder all over it. I am going to put, where's my, mm. oh, I put my paprika back. the heck I was thinking. All right. 
that. And then I'm going to put a little bit of cumin. I stir that up. Oh, it smells so good. Y'all, I'm excited. I don't know what it is this time, but my head really feels like it's in it this time, and I just see my body just going. I really do. I, I just I think I'm in it this time. All right, so let's try this. I got this, and then I've got the Mio. Holy, it didn't say it was going to do that. And I got my Benadryl because I'm allergic to certain reds, but I read on here and it didn't have the color on it, but you never know. So I got my Benadryl ready. So let's take a taste. Let's taste it. Oh my God, it does. That is so funny. It should, I'm going to add a little bit more. Yep. I mean, it's not going to be like the Dr. Pepper you're going to go get out of the can. Of course not. You can tell there's a difference to it. But it is good. There you go. Low carb Dr. Pepper. Now I just got to, hopefully I don't get no signs of an allergic reaction. Okay. Let's stir this meat back up. All right, I'm going to turn that off, but I'm going to leave it on the stove there. I'm waiting for the cheese, and then once that, um, once that, my kitchen timer goes off, I'll bring you guys back, and we'll get it what together. What I did now, it came out. I, I put it on about two more minutes, so mine did a total of eight minutes at 375, and they came out perfect. So now I have them on the back side of a muffin tin, and I kind of just laid them over like this. And now I'm going to let those cool so they kind of harden that way, okay? okay? Well, I took them off the tin, so I have little bitty bowls here, just like this. And then we're going to fill them. We're going to fill them. We grab another little spoon. So we're going to go ahead and take this meat mixture. Okay, to that we're going to add a little bit more cheddar cheese. Okay, to that we're going to add a little bit of, I cut up some little grape tomatoes. And again, as I always tell you guys, if you don't want something on it, don't put it on there. Put what you like. Okay, and then I'm going to put a little pickled jalapeno on each one. Okay, and then we're going to put a little bit of dollop of sour cream on each one. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of salsa to each one. Whatever salsa you like, red, green, whatever. And 
And then I've got some chopped cilantro here. We're going to put right over the top. And there you have it. Look at this. Now I'm probably going to have three of these for dinner and then I'm probably going to take the other three for lunch tomorrow. I always make where I can have dinner and then the next day I can have it for lunch or something. It just makes things a lot easier. So there you have it, my nice little taco bowls. These are going to be so delicious. Very simple to make, you know. It's I mean, it's very simple. Let's up a little bit. But we're going to go ahead and take a bite and see. Mm. That is so good. That is so good. I, that's why I like the the cheese when you make when you, I do the cheese and then I lay them out and make them like a taco shell. The longer taco shell is so good. And my low carb Dr Pepper. Dr Pepper is a big drink in Texas. <clears throat> Just in case you didn't know. But anyway, I hope you guys try these here. It's so simple. You know what? And the taco meat, if you don't want the seasonings I do, you just do whatever, however you season your meat for tacos. Just season it that way. Or buy the taco mix and the, and the little thing and you just use like half the packet of it. And make it, then top it with whatever you want. But definitely make these little bowls. And do it on the outside and if you want to. I have also done it on the inside. So if I had it turned the other way, I would just take the warm cheese and stuff it in there and shape it and get it against the sides. And then you got to let it cool for about 10 minutes. That way it's going to harden up and it's going to stay into a bowl form. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video. God, I enjoy being with you guys every day. Um, I'm so excited about the weight loss happening. I really think my mind is in it this time. I hope yours is in it this time. And I hope we all are going to lose all this weight. And looks so beautiful for the holidays. All right, guys. Well, thanks you so much for coming to my channel. Don't forget to comment, like, and share the video. Invite other friends to come and watch my videos. Let's just make it one big getting skinny party. All right, guys. I love each and every one of you. And I'll see you tomorrow.